Pleasure. I'm Bonnie. Nice to meet you again. Uh, last time we uh, have introduced about the stainless steel oil sludge pyrolysis machine. And uh, this time, welcome to see our stainless steel oil sludge pyrolysis machine delivery. Our topic is a, a stainless steel oil sludge pyrolysis machine. Before we have introduced about the manufacturers and the delivery uh, manufacturers and also the structure of oil sludge pyrolysis machine, uh, this time uh, our live show is for the delivery. Later I will, uh, lead, lead, uh, I will introduce you to see the delivery. Today is six reactors to deliver together. And next time, uh, we will uh, waiting for uh, waiting in our uh, live show room, and we will see the installation in customer factory, and uh, also for the running machine. Please follow Bonnie to see all your large pyrolysis machine. Hello, welcome our new client. Now our live show is oil sludge pyrolysis machine. Today we are delivering six success oil sludge pyrolysis machine, and the reactors are stainless steel reactor. The structure of this machine is different with uh, the normal pyrolysis machine. Now we can can follow me to see the delivery here. This morning we already started the loading. It's open container, and all other accessories could be put in the containers. If you need to learn more information about delivery, you can leave your message, or your contact number to us, and our professional sales manager will contact with you for more details. In our factory, we are, we are main manufacturer pyrolysis machine, and we store all the delivery uh, distillation machine. The raw material of pyrolysis machine could be waste tire, plastic, uh, and all large large uh, coal, tar, coal tar waste. Also, we could use uh, waste oil and uh, uh, even crude oil could be used. Also, bitumen. Bitumen pyrolysis is okay. This one is the second reactor. This, this hole is the one 
It's the one we see last time is for reactor cooling. Now you can see clearly this hole. It's uh, uh, used for cold air, go inside furnace uh, before before open the door. And if you have any questions, you can leave a message here. I can reply you. Or leave your contact information, and our sales manager will contact you for more information. Welcome our new customers. Please follow me. So, second reactor, third one, and four, five, six. Today, totally six reactors will deliver at the same time. Actually, already have two steps. It's uh, already arrived to customer factory. Welcome the new customer. In our live, live showroom, uh, customers, if you have any question about uh, oil slide paralysis machine, or if you have oil slide materials, you, you can leave a message to me and I will introduce to you how to use the materials to make money. And if you, if you are interested in other paralysis machine like tire, plastic, or continuous paralysis machine, also can leave a message to me and I will introduce to you. In our workshop, now we have more than uh, 20 sets, that type of machine is uh, undergoing. And uh, three sets, three sets continuous machine is manufacturing insights. Firstly, uh, we came to see this delivery of stainless steel uh, our slot paralysis machine. After this, we will go inside workshop to see continuous machine manufacturing and uh, uh, batch type machine manufacturing. Welcome, new client. Welcome, new clients. This reactor, this reactor is made, made of stainless steel or new client, not a new client that comes inside. It's a, I think it's from a, Mr. Allen from um, Malaysia. Now we are, we are going on, it's a, a stainless steel oil slide paralysis machine live show. Welcome your attention. See, this reactor is made of stainless steel because oil sludge is different for different types. So in this customer factory, the stainless steel uh, oil sludge have uh, some acid and the oil sludge is very sticky. So for the stainless steel, it's better for the oil sticky to the steel. And also it prevents the prevent acid corrosion. Welcome, new client. Or some client from France. Welcome, customer from France. Now we are going is a, a stainless steel oil slot paralysis machine. In our company, we are professionally for all types of paralysis machine and the oil distillation machine. And now this one we, we are we are seeing is a, a stainless steel oil slot paralysis machine. Because oil sludge is liquid and it's uh, 
uh, very sticky. So this customer made it stainless steel to make it for better process. Last time we have introduced uh, the, the structure of the machine and uh, also have uh, shown the inside structure and there been a lot of communication with uh, uh, some very professional customers. This time is for delivery. Next time, uh, maybe after one month, we can go to a fact, uh, customer factory and to make live show on site. So if you have any interest about uh, all flood paralysis machine, please make attention to us. And for anybody to see all flood paralysis machine running. Welcome our new client. This one is stainless steel reactor. Inside, we have another reactor made of a uh, boiler plate. It's also for our sludge. That is for Canada. And the other chair is a very common, like, uh, hello. <laughs> Today I have customer visits. They are there for continuous paralysis machine. And now China Visa is uh, open to uh, lower the world. If you have any interest to uh, paralysis machine, welcome your visit. In April, only this month, we already have more than uh, 15 customer visits only for paralysis machine. But the materials now is also various. Mostly uh, tires, plastic, oil sludge, uh, but the reactor is also different. Uh, we have batch reactors and the continuous also have uh, oil with the oil distillation machine. For the, the materials of the reactor, we could make it uh, for a boiler plate Q245R, Q345R, and uh, all types of uh, stainless steel. Welcome new customers from Alibaba. If you have any questions, or someone from Egypt, welcome. Welcome new client. If you have any uh, questions, you can leave a message here. And we will discuss in the lecture room. Or you could leave your contact information. Our professional sales manager will talk to you for more details. Hello, welcome, new customers. Now we are going on the delivery of oil slide paralysis machine. Today we deliver six sets, six sets stainless steel oil slide paralysis machine. Uh, Totally, one side have uh, eight sets paralysis machine. Now, two sets is already installed in the factory. These six six reactors will arrive to customer factory tomorrow. Next month, in May, the machine will finish installation. Uh, at that time, please follow Bonnie. We will go on site to see the running machine. Fox out and look attention to us. And we will be to see running machine. If you have any interest about the paralysis machine for any kind, any kind of materials. <laughs> this way, please. Now we get to the third one. The third one, they have four and three, six. If you have any question about tire paralysis or plastic paralysis, even continuous paralysis machine can follow me. Later, we will introduce all types of paralysis machine, especially continuous machine. Today, 
uh, all of our friends in the lab room is very lucky because today our uh, continuous pyrolysis machine, three sets, three sets is under manufacturing. You can see the reactor, inside the reactor, and you can see the furnace structure, everything you can see. If you press order, you will see uh, what we did for others, that will be what we will do for your others. Welcome new customers. Welcome Mr. Pato from India. Hello, welcome new friends. Mr. Adu, welcome Mr. Adu. Now the live show you see is a stainless steel pyrolysis reactor delivery. Uh, just now from the, the, the uh, outer gate into here, we have seen already five sets reactor delivery. Today totally have six sets. Later we will see totally six sets reacted together. And today this machine is mainly for oil slurred pyrolysis machine. Because the oil slurred is very sticky, so this machine is different from normal uh, pyrolysis machine. And you can see, you can see uh, this one. From the back side or from the front side, it's different from uh, uh, the common pyrolysis machine. Because this one is especially for oil sludge. If anyone is familiar with oil sludge, you will know oil sludge is very sticky and uh, some sludge including impurities and uh, some acid. So stainless steel is very necessary. Welcome new client. Okay. Now please follow me to go inside our workshop. In the workshop, you will see a continuous pyrolysis machine and the batch type of pyrolysis machine, the normal, normal boiler steel. Hello, welcome new friends. I'm Bonnie. I'm especially introduced for our slide paralysis machine. Last time we have seen uh, the manufacture and the inside structure of this stainless steel oil slide paralysis machine. At this time, I introduce, uh, I introduce you to see the delivery. And next time, maybe we will go to running side to see. We will follow this reactor uh, from the beginning manufacture into the production. Please make attention to us. In the future, you will get more information and you will see what you want to see. Well, if you have any questions or you, you, you want to see any details, you can leave a message to me. I will show you on site. Now we have entrance to our production factory. You can have a look. This workshop is especially for reactor manufacturing. See this one. This one is uh, the continuous machine reactor. You know, 
the continuous machine, if we want the machine continuously running, the length of the reactor is very important. So, for continuous machine, one reactor length is about 26 meters. This is part of it. And from uh, uh, that side, we will see the whole reactors. Follow me this way. This area, this area is uh, for the ready reactors store. Because in our factory, we have different teams to do different works. For this reactor, we have we have three teams to do the actual welding like this. For this reactor welding, we have three automatic welding. This one. So we have three teams to make the after welding. That is to say, if you order if three sets order put together, our three teams could start manufacturing at the same time. So delivery of three sets and one set is the same. Another another three teams especially making the installation is in the front side. Later I will show you. And this area. This area is the team especially for assembling because the reactor, inside the reactor and outside the reactor have assembled together to make the whole reactor. But here now, this inside reactor and outside reactor should, should be balanced, should make the balance because when machine is running balance is very important. Otherwise, the reactor will uh, left jam. That is very dangerous. So this team, our workers, especially make assembly, they know how to make adjustment, how to make the reactor balance. So in our factory, we have different teams to do different works. They only do one thing for a long time, that is more professional and make uh, less fault. Let's see this, uh, this ruler. Welcome new clients from Korea. New clients from Korea. And now we are we are showing is uh, the normal with the tire and with the plastic paralysis machine. Now you are see, you are seeing is uh, the reactor. This is the inside reactor. This is the outside insulation cover. Now here we are seeing is uh, the assembling site. In this site. Assembling work is going on. So this one is finished. You can see this is our reactor bearing. If you have paralysis machine before, in the old then, in the old then reactor, here this bearing is very easy damage. So for our new machine, the new design machine made a lot of improvements. I have received many inquiries that if they have the old paralysis machine. And they complain a lot that uh, the bearing, chain bearing, is a very big cost and uh, it delayed a lot of works. Now you can see our bearings. Firstly, this bearing is um, uh, casting steel, made of casting steel. And the bearing, this, this, uh, this is the inside bearing, is fastened by the screw. No any welding and no any touch with the steel. So this part is very strong, you can see. Also for the adjustment, it's very flexible. You can make the reactor higher or lower by um, fasten this screw. Besides, you can see this part is very important. In our reactor, you know, inside the reactor, temperature is very high. Uh, like uh, 400 to 500 degrees. So at this time, if the reactor touch to this bearing, touch bearing directly, the bearing temperature also very high. 
So after long time running, this bearing is very easy, very easy uh, broken. And also for this reactor, this part is also very easy out of shape because inside the reactor have very heavy raw materials. It's like a 10 tons or 12 tons and even 15 tons. So very heavy materials put inside the reactor. This bearing cuts its uh, uh, support the reactors. So this part is very hot and with very heavy loading. After a long time, this part is very easy out of the shape and the bearing will uh, working under high temperature. Also very easy damage. Mr. Hammond, thank you for your attention. Welcome. Hammond, this is the new reactors. The new reactors. It will be, your reactor will be the same as this one. This is part of the details. Uh, I, think, I think I can introduce to you every details of the new design reactors. Please attention me. This is the, um, this one compared with the, compared with the old reactor. You can see firstly, uh, our uh, reactor, this bearing. This bearing is not attached directly to the big reactor. In our reactor, we have or this part is a, or like a, a small, small circle, small feeding door. The bearing uh, support to the small feeding door. So on the smoke, on this part, the temperature is already low. Temperature of this part is already low. So uh, this bearing is supports this part. So bearing temperature is already reduced. And then compared with the old one, support here. Support here, that one is very easy damage. But this one, temperature here is very low. And in order to make a better balance and make a better of the, the various quality, so we make another casting. It's a casting flange. This one is made uh, uh, by the casting oven. I think uh, uh, if you are familiar with the casting, you will know. That is the um, uh, mold, the steel, uh, liquid steel put inside the mold and then comes to one uh, this uh, this round plant as uh, uh, at whole no any welding so this one is very strong and uh, it's 100 percent wrong so when the machine running in the front side and back side we both have this support ring so that the end balance will be very good all the technique of this feeding door and all your outlet is the same so the balance of the reactor is very good. You can see from this uh, support ring to the reactor, there's a gap. This gap is about uh, uh, 5 cm. It is 5 cm. The, the hot temperature is um, from the reactor to this uh, the support ring and to this very from here is so very spread. So this part, the temperature is very low. You know, outside, outside the machine, the reactors, instant delivery. That customer get it to our running machine site. The engineer especially touched with this part and also touched with this part. He told me, he said the temperature of this part is lower than this part. So for his new machine, also then like this. And then you can see the structure of that machine is very difficult. It's different because for their oil slurs, they don't need a big hole, but they still choose this structure, this part structure, because they have very rich experience for pyrolysis machine. They already running the machine for 20 years. So this van, this, this van is very good. So their new machine is made of uh, uh, this type of design. Uh, and uh, also, according to their materials, we made a special reactor for them. So help me. Now let me show you back side, back side of the reactor. And here, let's see here, the base, the base of the reactor. 
the bearing, the bearing base and reactor base. Also in the back side, the gearbox, all in one base. The, it's made of uh, H-shaped steel. This is H-shaped steel. The whole reactor is uh, on one platform. So the whole reactor balance is very good. Now follow me to the back side. This is the back side. Back side, this is uh, oil outlet, oil outlet door. The diameter is the same as the, the front feeding door. So the balance of reactor is very good. And also you can, this, this uh, gear, the big gear, connect with reactors by blend and a screw. So if you want to repair this uh, uh, gear, or after some uh, many years, or if you want to re repair or want to make a replace, it's very easy. Just to remove the screw is okay. But usually this one has no need for replace because the temperature of this is very, it's, it's very low. Just the common, normal temperature because it's far away from the reactor itself. This part is especially a small door a small outlet is a part of the reactor. And this uh, support ring also made the, the bearing temperature low. But this one, you can see, for this bearing, this bearing, they have a gap. Because in the back side, here condensers is stable. Reactor is rotate. Also, when the machine is running under high temperature, the reactor will become longer. And this side, we cannot, cannot let the reactor go back side. So we made this gap to stop the reactor back side. It can go uh, forward, not backward. And uh, you can see this bearing. This bearing is really big. It's much bigger than the old one. Also, this part is very flexible. When you want to, um, after after some time, when after some time it's running, the reactor maybe uh, need to uh, make the balance again. Just to move this uh, screw is okay. The screw is definitely useful to make the reactor balance. Run, Mr. Karan, you are asking how many liters of oil are obtained from one ton of waste. That depends on your waste. What waste do you have? Our machine, yeah, I'm speaking English. You are asking for how many, how many liters you can get from waste. But you can see what is your waste because the oil yield is different from different waste. Our machine could process with the tire, with the plastic, oil sludge, and also coal tar waste, with the oil, different type of waste. Or you can leave your contact number. Uh, our professional sales manager will contact for more information. Mr. Helme. Uh, if, is there any other things you want to see? Uh, here, see this, uh, this is the gearbox. This gearbox can support the structure. This support structure is also connected directly with uh, the reactor base. So from the feeding door to this gearbox, all connected um, in one frame. In some machine, this gearbox and the machine, they are different platform. So if 
If the foundation of this gearbox is different with the reactor foundation, the machine balance will be not good. Now in our machine, everything, everything is in one platform, one frame, exit. I want to see the whole thing. Yeah. Yes, you can see for the whole reactor, it's all uh, on the on the same form. This hole is for cooling. The reactor cooling is after one batch finish. After one batch finish, and this part is uh, uh, connected with that side with or drop the fan. The cold air go inside from this side and it comes out from that side. This could make uh, the reactor cooling much faster. It can make the time 50% uh, shorter. For example, if the normal cooling time is eight hours, with this one, the cooling time will, will be four or five hours. Mr. Kara, Asking for how much temperature is required for pyrolysis process. Okay, uh, the temperatures for plastic and tire and all parts is different. We will start from the low temperature. But with the plastic, the temperature requires lower. It's about uh, 230. But the temperature we are talking about is uh, oil gas temperature. Uh, there will be there will be a buffer tank connected with this oil outlet. The buffer tank will be uh, connected here. So the temp no, the temperature we are talking about the temperature for plastic the temperature about uh, two hundred and thirty is okay. For tires about two hundred and sixty and two hundred and eighty. For oil starch. Oil starch, the temperature will be much higher. It's about uh, 320 or 330. Top much background noise. And the noise is under 80. Okay, this way, please. Mr. Hermey, our studio. Hermey, now uh, I will introduce you to see the inside reactor manufacturing. Uh, this one is outside, the insulation cover. My Egypt of France, my Egypt of France, here is uh, the insulation power manufacturer. This is the insulation cover. The insulation cover is made of three layers. One outside layer is the, the steel, inside the steel. Inside the steel is one layer of fire fibers. Outside the fibers will be a fire cement. Now you see it's fire cement. Total thickness of this insulation cover will be 9 cm. It's 9 cm. Like a new plant. Now you are seeing it's uh, the pyrolysis machine manufacturer site. Welcome your attention. This is the this is the bottom part. The insulation cover is made of two parts. That is uh, the upper part. This one and this one. Two parts will make one whole insulation cover. In the middle, we need to put the reactor, the inside reactor shell. Now the assembly work is going on. This is our third team. The third team is specially assembling the reactor together. They are now preparing to put the inside shell 
and make the cover a little make a balance of the actor. After that, your machine could be allowed to be delivered. See this one. Right here. This is uh, the, the cap shell of the pyrolysis reactor. For our reactors, we are designing, we are designing the cap, the reactor cap. It's the uh, same as the pressure vessel. You can see the shape is round, the round shape. So this one can be a pressure. Later we will see the whole reactor. require a chimney for which the gas outlet. Yes, you need to prepare a chimney. But before chimney, we have the dusting device. You should put the dusting device before emission. Okay, now let's see the reactor. This is the welding of the reactor. Just now we have seen the shell, the capsule of the reactor. Now this is the capsule and the reactor body joined together. See? You know all the then. All the then. This part, the shell is a flat. It's a flat connected with the body directory. But that the then is very dangerous because the connection, the, the uh, cap, the ceiling cap is inside of the reactor. The welding couldn't use automatic welding. So for this one, this connection, the welding of this part will be exactly the same as the body itself. So the cap, the reactor cap and the body, they weld together, it's like uh, just uh, uh, one part, just one part. The welding quality will be same as the reactor body itself. This this type of a reactor shell can be a high temperature. That is uh, when your machine is running. If inside have any pressure, this reactor is strong enough to make to make it have enough time to release the pressure, so that to avoid accident happen. Will be welded. Uh, will be welded with this uh, different parts. These are the condensers. You find the condensers. Uh, for example, for twelve ton and the ten ton reactor, the condensers inside have many pipes. One condenser, about uh, one condenser is uh, 37 pipes, 37 small pipes inside, and oil goes through the, the pipes, and the, between the pipes will be uh, cooling water. So each pipe, each pipe all touch to the cold reactor, so the cooling area will be very big. The cooling effect will be very good. How initial heat is provided? It's using any solid fuel or gas. For initial heating, initial heating is uh, about two to three hours. The initial heating need other fuel. The fuel could be wood, coal, uh, pyrolysis oil. The pyrolysis oil is itself is a very good fuel for uh, preheating. And also, you could use natural gas. In the middle of the pyrolysis, there will be a thin gas. The thin gas could be recycled to use for heating. But the furnace structure of different uh, fuel is different. When you place order, you should tell us which type of fuel you will use. For example, if you use wood or coal, the foundation is the, the furnace is the thing. But for gas, and uh, for pyrolysis oil, the furnace is different. This reactor is ready. This is already welded. 
This one is a uh, uh, turn-turn capacity. This is a, the insulation cover. Insulation cover is uh, before put inside the fire cement. Can you see inside? There are a lot of hooks on the wall. There are a lot of hooks on the wall. Because, uh, firstly, we build the structure just like uh, make a building. And then put the steel sheet. Put the steel sheet outside. After that, we will make lot of uh, hooks. Lot of hooks on the shell. The function of the hook is just to handle the fire, the, uh, the, 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 the fire materials, the city materials, just to catch it, the fiber. Because if without this hook, the fiber is very easy fall down with the cement. Let the hooks catch it. After that, we make a, 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 like a, a steel net on the surface. After that, we put the fire cement. So this uh, insulation cover will be very strong. Volume of the equipment. Uh, we have different capacity of the equipment. The very common one is 10 ton, 12 ton, 15 tons. This is for bed type. For continuous machine, we have 15 tons, 12 tons, uh, 30, 30 tons, 40 and 50 tons. We also have a small testing machine. The small testing machine has 100 kilogram and 500 kilogram. This is screw conveyor. Screw conveyor is the making here. This is screw conveyor. This one, this one is the, the frame I was talking about. It's for the actor, the actor frame. The whole actor is the, uh, the video various and also with the gearbox, all will be put on the same uh, the same frame. But this one is for continuous machine. That one, that one is continuous machine installation cover. This is the only half of it, because the the continuous machine total length about uh, 26, 26 meters. So we need to make two reactors join together. This, this one, this tank, this is the oil tank. So today we are very lucky. We, we are saying uh, this is after welding. Uh, our, uh, the workers now is making the uh, liquid testing. Then making liquid testing to uh, make gas inside and keep the gas inside and to test how much time it can, can, it, it can uh, contain the gas. In this way, we could see if there is any liquid on the building. All the machines, the tanks, will be tested before delivery. Welcome new clients. Now we are going on is uh, the delivery of oil sludge pyrolysis machine. Just now we have seen six reactors delivery on site. Now we are inside our workshop. And we have seen our uh, bed type of pyrolysis reactor structure. And now we arrive to a continuous machine manufacture area.
The continuous machine is made of uh, uh, actually it's two reactors joined together. Total length is 26 meters. This is the furnace. The furnace and the insulation cover of continuous machine. This one is different with batch type because you can see inside the fire, that is a fire brick. Osman, welcome, all Osman. Where is the manufacturing plant is located? Our location is China, Henan province, Chengdu city. We are, we are in Henan province. And uh, if you have any plan to visit our factory, you can leave us a message or leave your contact number. We will send to you our detailed address. Also, you could arrive to Zhengzhou Airport and we can pick up from the airport. We are very near to airport and uh, near to a uh, train station. It just call to us, we can pick up. Sabia, welcome, Mr. Sabia. Now you are in our live showroom, Mr. Kernan Doing Company. Uh, it's for with the tire, with the plastic, and all this kind of pavilion machine. Now you are seeing is uh, the continuous machine insulation cover. You can see continuous machine is uh, different with batch time machine. Batch machine is uh, with uh, or the fire cement inside, but the continuous machine inside is a uh, uh, fire brick. But between fire brick and this steel, there is also fire fibers and also fire cements. But this this continuous machine, it needs continuously working for more than one month. So this insulation cover is also very important. Especially the thickness. The thickness of this insulation cover is uh, three times of a batch type machine. More than three times. Uh, the thickness of this insulation cover is uh, 35, 35 centimeters. So even after one month continuously heating, outside of this steel is not hot. All the energy, all the temperature is used to heat the reactor itself. This could save energy. And you can see the seams, the seams between the uh, brick is very, very thin, about one or two millimeter. Because fire cement and a fire brick, it can prevent hot, the hot air comes outside. But the seam, it will not make the good the high temperature will come out from the steam. So in this machine, uh, between the bricks, the steam of the bricks, we are using high temperature glue. This can make the insulation cover just like a whole, like a whole body uh, to prevent the high temperature go outside. So we can, we, our machine can run with only thin gas after uh, eight hours preheating. After eight, eight hours preheating, and uh, then the following one month, no need other energy. Welcome, welcome, Mr. This is a Chong Shou. Welcome, new kind. Ahmed, welcome, Mr. Ahmed. If you have any questions about uh, paralysis, um, about the machine manufacture or about the machine running, you can talk to me here. Total circle time, eight hour heating. Uh, I think uh, this is the, the difference. Eight hour free heating, that is for continuous machine. Continuous machine, just the beginning, so eight hours free heating. And then one month, no stop, just the heating by thing gas. For the batch type, you need to stop. Every every day, you need to stop. The heating time is uh, about 10 to 12 hours. Other time is, uh, is feeding and slagging and cooling. So continuous machine and batch type machine is different. 
Tire a Okay, customers, if you have any questions, uh, you can leave a message here. Uh, we can talk in our lecture room. Or you could take it, uh, leave your contact information to us. We will contact you for more information. Now it's uh, almost one hour. I will, I will uh, introduce you to see again about the delivery. We will see again about the delivery outside. Some new plants haven't seen our delivery of the machine. That is today our topic. Okay, help me. If you have any question, you can send me a message. We will discuss for more details. Thank you for your attention. And now, outside, you can see a six reactors delivery. When delivery, first thing we will react to the truck. And if we will deliver outside, uh, outside of China, we need to load into the container. This reactor needs an open container. And we will send you pictures how to load it. And we also have our shipping agents can help you to do the delivery. This reactor is 15 tons. 15 tons reactor. Um, but in our reactor, we made uh, we, we made the, with a lot of materials, so it's very heavy. One reactor about 34 tons, so one truck can load only one reactor. This one is delivered to China customer factory. Totally, they bought eight sets. Today, we deliver six sets. Here, have one, two. Three, four, and the other two is already outside on the road. So today, totally six sets delivered together. And in the future, I like to go to a customer factory after installation. Please follow Bonnie, and I will introduce you more on site. Mr. Karan, Mr. Karan from YouTube, can you leave your contact number to us? You leave your contact number, then we will talk more details. Because today time is limited, so we, we, we cannot you know, just more details about the machine running. You could leave a message, I leave your contact number, and we will talk to you uh, you no, know, our sales manager can talk to you for more detail, especially answer your questions. Mr. Karan from YouTube. Okay, now it's already one hour. Time is very fast. So, uh, the new client, if you have any question. If you have any question, you can leave a message. We could see again. And every week we have two uh, live show. Every week, twice live show. You can follow us. And if you have any question, you can follow us. And every week we will have broadcast. And we can show to you all the details of our manufacturing. And sometime in the future, we will go to a customer running machine factory to make a live show. Welcome your attention. Now, at last, I will introduce again about our business scope. In our factory, we have a with the tire and a with the plastic paralysis machine, oil slide paralysis machine, with the oil distillation machine, also bitumen, uh, oil sand, all types of materials, including oil, we could deal it. So if you are, uh, you are have any interest about the different materials, paralysis, 
you can leave us a message. We already have uh, 13 years in this field, and we have rich experience to process different types of materials. And on the machines, we have the engineer team. Our machine is improving. It's always improving. Every time we will have a new point for the machine. So please follow us. <laughs> Mr. Kara, Mr. Kara, you have to leave a message. You leave your contact number. We will answer all of your questions face to face. Okay, all of my friends, thank you for your attention. I uh, hope to see you next time. And next time, if uh, I will go to customer factory to see the running machine, I will, uh, I will send you a message in, uh, in advance. So please make attention to us and follow us. Thank you. Hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.